Do you ever want to combine the contents of several cells into one cell? I do, especially after I import data like this and the first and last names of my employees end up in separate columns on my worksheet. I'd rather present each employee's full name in a single column. There's no button on the ribbon to help me do this, so I'll use a formula to combine the contents from the separate cells into one cell. Here's how I do it. In cell C2, I start the formula by typing an equal sign. Then I click the last name in cell A2. This adds the cell reference of that name, A2, to the formula. Now I type an ampersand. The ampersand is used in the formula to join or concatenate the two names into a single piece of text, the full name. Because I want to separate the names with a comma and a space, I'll add them both to the formula. The quotes I type around them ensure that the comma and the space are included as part of the text between the combined names. Now all I have to do is click the first name in cell B2. When I press enter, the two names are combined in the same cell, C2, and the formula I entered is displayed in the formula bar. I only have to enter the formula once because I can drag the fill handle to extend the formula to the other cells in the column. All I have to do now is add a new label for the combined names and format that label. Note how the formula is displayed in the formula bar for each cell that contains the names I combined. Now I want to delete the two columns that contain the separate first and last names because I no longer need them. This error reminds me that the formulas for the combined cells are referencing the cells in the columns I just deleted. So before I delete the columns, I'll replace the formulas with the actual text of the first and last names. I can do this with an easy copy and paste operation. I simply select all the cells that contain a formula in column C, copy the actual names to the clipboard, and then click Paste Values on the Paste menu. Now when I click in a cell, I see the names in the formula bar, not the formula, and I can safely delete the columns I no longer need. There's another way to combine multiple cells into one cell. Instead of creating my own formula, I could have used the concatenate function. This function produces the exact same result, but it is especially useful when I want to include some text, such as this remark about Margaret's outstanding sales results this month. Note that I used quotes around the additional text, just as I did for the comma and space in my own formula. For more information about the formula syntax of the concatenate function, see the link in the article associated with this demo. Both formula methods provide a quick way to combine the contents of cells, and using a formula is definitely faster than the tedious manual process of copying the contents of each individual cell into the contents of another cell or simply retyping them.